Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, a lot of LEGO Star Wars 2018 Summer Set and UCS Set news and rumors have been coming out over the last couple weeks, and I have not made a single video on really any of them. So, in this video, I thought I'd just do a full analysis of all the 2018 set news and rumors in one video. So, that includes the 2018 Spring Sets, the 2018 Summer Sets, and the UCS sets. I'll do an analysis on all those videos, kind of give my thoughts on them. Um, but anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to first take a look at the April spring release sets. So during April, we'll be going to getting a total of seven Lugus Star Wars sets at 75206 through 75212. Alright, so basically we know two of the seven sets, the first of which is 75206, and that's going to be the Clone Battle Pack. Now this again, I've done an uh, analysis on the past of, but basically it's going to be including two kind of phase two modified clones. We're going to be getting Kiati Mundi and Coleman Trevor, and then a small build, which is kind of a combination of the transport speeder and gunship. So again, this is actually what I'm really excited about. This is actually probably the one set I'm most excited about out of all of them. Uh, as finally, we are getting Phase 2 clones in some Jedi and a cheap set. This is one I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of, and I think this is one many Clone Wars fans are going to be really, really excited about. Uh, again, we've seen leaked images of this. The build does look decent. It has a decent amount of parts. So overall, I think, I think this is going to be a really good ba uh, battle pack and one that's going to sell really, really well. Moving along, the second set we know of is set number 75208. That's going to be Yoda's Hut for $30. And this, again, is going to be pretty cool. So it's going to be a build of Yoda's Hut. Again, there have been leaked images of this as well. No leaked images in this video. Uh, but basically, it's going to be, again, literally exactly a brick-built version of this Yoda's Hut you see here. It's going to include Luke in his Dagobah kind of outfit and Yoda and R2-D2. Now the hut itself looks decent, it's a bit like blockish I feel if you've seen the images so that is kind of odd uh, but still again I feel like when we get official images we'll get a better look at it. Uh, you do get Luke, sadly he is in his kind of Dagobah like tank top outfit, he doesn't actually have his Cloud City kind of uh, tan outfit which again is a bit disappointing but still I think it's alright but I really do wish they would have finally included a new Cloud City Luke version. Um, in his uh, Cloud City outfit in this set. All right, and then we have five other LEGO sets, which again were not mentioned in uh, the other five sets, which we still do not know uh, much about. Uh, it is said that these are all going to be Han Solo movie sets, so we don't know what they are. We know for sure one of them is going to be probably a blue Millennium Falcon, like you can see in this image here. So again, we don't know much about the movie yet, no trailer, so this could be maybe... Uh, Lando's version of the Falcon before uh, Han wins it from him. Um, again, we're not sure. And then there was a leaked image of a brand new version of Boba Fett, which is completely different than any of the others you've seen. It has like dual molded arms and things with like a bright orange. So maybe we're getting a new Slave 1. I think that'd be really cool. Really cool. It's been about eight years now since the last Slave 1. So again, not completely sure, but these are some pretty interesting sets. We'll have to wait uh, for the coming month to see get more information on the Han Solo movie sets. Alright, so now we have a look at the rumored UCS sets. There are going to be two coming out this year, the first of which is going to be the UCS Y-Wing in uh, on May the 4th. Now again, this is one I kind of have mixed feelings about. Uh, again, I like the Y-Wing as a vehicle. I think it's really cool, but I just wish LEGO wouldn't re-release lego sets or lego ucs sets especially if they are a pretty solid build altogether so this ucs y-wing from 2004 is a pretty solid build and i really feel it did not need to be re-released um so again i wish they would have maybe made a new ucs set rather than re-releasing one and if they'd re-released a set i wish they would have rather done the ucs star destroyer i feel like that probably would sell a lot better um, but again anyways i'm that's kind of all I have to say. I think it's a good set, but at the same time, I wish LEGO would make new ones instead of uh, re-releasing previous UCS sets. All right, and now we go on to the August summer release, and we're going to be getting a total of eight sets 
that's 752132 So let's go ahead and take a look at those. All right, so the first one here is the advent calendar set number 75213. Again, this is one I'm not too crazy about. Never been crazy about the advent calendars. Um, again, it looks decently interesting in the leaked image, but again, uh, not too uh, interested in the advent calendars. All right, so the first, uh, the next set, set number 75214, is Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Now, this is one I'm really excited about because it's been a long, long time since our last Anakin's Jedi Starfighter back in 2008. So it's been a very long time. And uh, the cool part is we're going to be getting a brand new Anakin. Now, again, not exactly sure how, which route they're going to take. They're probably not going to re-release the Clone Wars version. Um, even with the Yoda Starfighter Clone Wars set, they released the regular Yoda. So they're not going to be releasing a Clone Wars version of Anakin with the set. So um, I'm kind of hoping that they release a Episode 3 version of Anakin. Again, uh, the one from Palpatine's Arrest, the one just the regular Episode 3 Anakin. I wish they would release him again because he's a pretty cool figure, like without the headset and all. So I hope that maybe Lego re-releases him in the set, or they might just include an Episode 2 Anakin. Um, but again, this is a ship I'm really excited about. I'm a huge Clone Wars fan, so this is probably one of the sets I will be picking up looks like a $30 set, so it's a bit pricey, but still, uh, I think it looks pretty good, and this is what I'm really excited about. Alright, so moving along, we have set number 75218, and this is going to be a brand new X-Wing Starfighter. Now, again, we've got a lot of X-Wings in the past, and this one is pretty similar to the 2000, and I believe this is 13 or 2012 version. Um, again, the only difference is if you look at the four like engines, uh, if you, for years now, Lego has been using that kind of modified piece for the engine of the X-Wing. It's kind of that modified, uh, kind of like rounded brick with kind of uh, four studs on the bottom. Uh, again, it's that white piece that is used uh, for the engine. And now they've actually finally changed that in the leaked image. You can see they're using kind of those Technic round parts that are uh, kind of used in the Republic gunship on those uh, engines. So again, it's a few small modifications. We're going to be getting two Astromix and two pilots. The Astromix one is blue, so we know that's probably R2. That means it's safe to assume that one of the pilots is Luke. Then we get a red Astromix and another pilot. Hopefully the second pilot is maybe Biggs, a figure we've still not gotten in LEGO. But again, this is a pretty interesting set. Uh, I really don't have too many thoughts on it. Uh, we've got a ton of X-Wings in the past, so again, this is just basically another X-Wing. Alright, and the next set here really does confuse me. This is a brand new Sandcrawler, and not a UCS one, but just a regular playset type version of the Sandcrawler. This is rumored to be in the, you know, $120 price range. I feel like it's probably going to be close to $150 or $160. Uh, just because of the fact that the Snoke Star Destroyer was 160 and that was pretty small. Um, but again, the rumored price is 120 so I don't know. I, why would LEGO re-release a Sandcrawler playset version? I feel like Sandcrawler is one of those vehicles that only should be released as UCS set. This one is, I feel, uh, the leaked image kind of shows that this is probably about 30% smaller than the UCS one, which is kind of disappointing because that really takes away from the detail. It looks like a lot more of a simplified version of the same crawler, which again, I don't really like. Um, but again, we're going to be getting like Jawas, C-3PO, I believe, uh, Uncle Owen. So it's a uh, cool figure to re-release. But again, I just not really happy with that set. I feel that Lego really didn't need to re-release the sand crawler, especially since the last one. I believe still is on shelf the UCS one so it's again a very odd choice by Lego and it kind of just takes away from the glory of the sand crawler when you just re-release it in a playset set a uh, playset version so again I'm not too excited about this set uh, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below all right and next off we have four confidential sets or these are sets where we don't know the names of yet and usually these sets that are confidential that we don't know the names of are usually sets based on the film that's coming out this year. Like last year, 
It was the last Jedi set to occur confidential. You know, before that, the Rogue One sets are confidential. So we're, it's safe to assume this is going to be, these sets are going to be Han Solo movie sets as well. Usually for every movie, they have two waves of sets. For Last Jedi, they had the Force Friday one, the 2017, and the Winter 2018 sets. So two waves for that. Uh, for Han Solo movie, we're getting the April wave. And now I'm safe to assume this will be the second wave in uh, the summer. So again, not sure what these sets are. We'll have to wait and see. Again, no images, no trailers, nothing as if the filming of this video about what these sets could possibly be. Next off, we get to the buildable figures. Now, I usually don't talk much about the buildable figures, but uh, for these two, I will actually be talking a bit about. This is set number 75538, and this is supposed to be a Super Battle Droid buildable figure. Now again, this actually might work because again, droids look really good in buildable figure form. Human figures don't, but droids like, you know, uh, K2SO, uh, I know we got General Grievous, some of these droid or cyborg figures look really good in buildable figure form. So I feel that the Super Battle Droid is actually going to be one of those figures that are actually going to be really nice and look pretty good in buildable figure form. Still not going to get it. I don't have an interest in buildable figures, but I really think this is going to be one of the better ones that have been released. And the other buildable figure or buildable figure set, I feel is actually not going to be that great. And that's going to be the uh, Scout Walker or ATRT with 501st Trooper. And when I first heard this, I was super excited, thinking we'd get another version of the set you see on your screen. But no, it's actually a buildable figure of a 501st Trooper and a large buildable figure scale ATRT. And again, I don't see the point of this. Lego knows that we want to get 501st Troopers, and rather than making a set, they're just putting them in a buildable figure form, which I do find kind of annoying. I like that they did the buildable figure of the Scout Trooper with the speeder bike, but this, I feel, it just won't look that great. Um, again, I we, Lego knows there are certain figures we really want, like Commander Cody, who instead of releasing a minifigure form of him in his Phase 2 armor, they release a buildable figure of him, which I find kind of disappointing. And I think the same thing, it's like they want, we know, the, uh, Lego knows we want more Phase 2 um, 501st Troopers, and instead they're releasing a buildable figure of it. So again, I don't know how this is probably, it might look decent, not too sure. The leaked image does again is a bit blurry, so we don't exactly know yet. But again, I'm not too excited about the set. Uh, let me know your thoughts about it down below. All right, and then the second UCS set, which is rumored to come out around April, like August or October, that's going to be the UCS Cloud City, and this is super super exciting. We have been wanting a Cloud City for ages. It's been now 15 years since the last Cloud City. And hopefully this rumor turns out to be true and LEGO has finally answered our pleas uh, for a brand new Cloud City. Now this is going to be a UCS one, so it's going to be pretty interesting. And it's supposed to be rumored, what, uh, I don't completely remember, I think four or $500, which is pricey. Um, but again, hopefully that means it's worth it. This is one I would really want to get. I'm going to probably save up for it. Um, again, the way it's going to be built, not too sure. Is it going to be kind of this way that this fan model is here? Again, this is an amazing LEGO Ideas project. Link in the description below. So is it going to be looking like that? Or is it going to be kind of like the, um, like a open playset version, like the UCS Hot. So like a large version of like an open playset Cloud City, like the UCS Hot was. Personally, I'm fine with either of the two. Just... Really excited to finally get a new Cloud City. I think it'll hopefully have like 10, 12 minifigures. So this is a set I'm really, really excited about. Um, and that's going to do it for the list. All right, but anyways, there you go. So there is a quick analysis on all of the 2018 summer slash spring set slash UCS set rumors. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be making another formal analysis video when we get more information on all the Han Solo movie sets and the unknown Lego spring sets. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. 
If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. This is Brick with 59, and I'll see you all next time.